Spatial Computing, Part 2, Shopping. Now, before we begin, I just want to say, if you haven't seen the first video, the introduction to spatial computing, you probably want to check that one out before you watch this one, for obvious reasons. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can use this technology to help us with the day-to-day -day activity, shopping. Now, if you think about the way you currently shop, using your monitor, you probably already know that it's very difficult to get a proper sense of size and shape. Now, this isn't that important when it comes to things like movies, music, and books. And that's probably why these things are doing so well when it comes to internet commerce. But when it comes to all the other stuff that you'd typically buy at a store, size and shape might actually be important in determining whether or not you want to buy this product. And the problem with using a monitor is that you've got to determine size and shape with a bunch of photographs, or maybe a list of dimensions, and some measuring tape. That involves a lot of guesswork. But with spatial computing, there is no guesswork. Because we'll be rendering these 3D models in real space, right in front of our eyes, in actual size, we'll be able to determine size and shape just from looking. The rest of this video is a demonstration of how spatial computing might be with shopping. In this demonstration, we're going to go over three things. First, how to find the product you want. Second, how to test out the product you want. And third, how to purchase the product you want. In this video, we're going to pretend that you and I are roommates that this is our living room, and that we need a coffee table. So let's go to our virtual furniture store and check it out. Now the first thing you'll notice is this display case. This display case is filled with all the categories of products that this store happens to carry. And because we're looking for coffee tables, we'll probably want the living room selection. Making the selection is stupid easy. All you gotta do is point. Remember, the computer is tracking what shape your hand is making, where your hand is located, and what the orientation of your hand is. Because it knows all this information, it knows when you're pointing and what you're pointing at. To help you out, the computer gives you visual feedback highlighting both the direction of your point and the thing that you're pointing at. To make a selection, all you gotta do is click. A click gesture is triggered whenever the thumb hits the middle finger, like this. So here we go living room and inside the living room category we want coffee tables so there we go so here we are the coffee table selection the store happens to be very well stocked in coffee tables there are so many in fact that we can't see all of them at the same time in order to move this display case around so that we can get a better view of the other coffee tables we're gonna have to do another gesture pinch using your thumb and index finger and drag your hand back and forth to move this display case around So let's say we found a coffee table that we really like. Now that we've found the product, we get to try it out. And this is where shopping with spatial computing gets really exciting. To try out the product, just select it. Look at that. You got a full scale 3D model of this coffee table just sitting in your living room right next to all the other furniture that you already own. We didn't need to pull out any measuring tape. We don't even need to know how many inches are in a foot. And we'll still be able to tell just from looking whether or not this coffee table will fit nicely in our living room. If you want to check out different colors of the coffee table, you can select it from this menu here. And uh, if you want to move this coffee table around and try out different arrangements, just click and drag. To be a little more accurate, you can pinch and drag with a finger. Or if you need to rotate it, pinch and drag with two fingers. Look at that! Arranging furniture has never been easier. No heavy lifting, no assembly required. If you want to arrange some more furniture, you can find all the pieces of furniture that match this particular piece and uh, pull them down from the display case. Arrange them as you see fit, and if you're done with any of them, just put them back. Cool. If you're ready to purchase a product, all you got to do is drag the product over to your shopping cart over here and uh, click on the shopping cart now that you're ready to purchase. Now this takes us to an order form. To fulfill a purchase, the store is going to need a few important details. Things like credit card information, billing address, and shipping address. Instead of entering all this stuff manually, we're going to use a little trick. 
Now, every set of goggles needs a camera anyway for motion tracking and other things. We're going to use this camera to capture some data. Just pull out the credit card and look at it. As soon as your camera captures the data required, it's going to fill in the form automatically. To enter an address, just find any old mail that you got laying around and look at that. And if you ever need to enter anything manually, what you can do is select the form field and take the keyboard and place it anywhere you want. Any flat surface should do. Manipulate it as you see fit and then just start typing. When you're done, click on the order button. Cool. Well, that pretty much concludes our demonstration. We were able to browse through an entire catalog of products just to find the one product that we want. We were able to test out that product in the comfort of our own home without having to use any measuring tape and without having to use any guesswork. And lastly, we were able to purchase this product using a little trick with our spatial computing goggles to cut down on the paperwork. Now, this technology isn't just limited to furniture. It can be useful for anything where either size or shape might be important factors. For example, a couple of months ago I was shopping around online for a cell phone. I had to go to a bunch of websites that like, would compare it in terms of size to an iPhone, to, to a credit card, to like a deck of cards. It actually wasn't that useful. It would have been really nice to have spatial computing where I could take the phone, you know, look at it from different angles, and uh, look at different states just from there. But when I was browsing on the internet, I did find something that was kind of cool and kind of inspiring. Take a look. The reviews are in, and the T-Mobile G1 has come out on top. So as I was watching this video, I thought to myself, man, it'd be really cool if you could take this 3D animation and have it happen in your living room with all this stuff like flying all around you. It would make shopping for a phone way more fun. And that's what this is all about, creating a shopping experience that's both fun and exciting. And this is just only one of the many ways that spatial computing can help us with our day-to-day -day activities. So that pretty much sums it up for Spatial Computing Part 2, Shopping. Uh, if you like the video, please send it out to a couple of friends. Also, I respond really well to feedback, so don't leave this page without commenting, even if it's a dumb comment. And uh, lastly, if you want an email update when I post Spatial Computing Part 3, go to my website and sign up for my mailing list. That's fedhex.com slash mailing underscore list. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.